Hey there, it's Mike Thomas here. You probably know me as Mike from Maine. Really quick in this video, I want to let you know about a special webinar bundle deal that's going on right now for a product called Flixsters Next. Now, I did a full review of that. Uh, you can check that out. I'll have a link to it in the description below. Uh, however, uh, what they did is a special pre-launch webinar where they gave a bundle deal for this. For, so for those of you, uh, you, you know that with these products, they usually do like OTOs. They have like, you buy the front end product and you could offer another product and another product and another product, and it can, can become quite expensive. But what they've done is they're giving a special discounted price for anyone that wants everything instead of having to pay like one to like go through the whole funnel you can get everything you get a discount on it and a special pricing for picking it up uh, in that bundle deal so what i'm going to do is i'll have a link below so you can check out that bundle deal as well uh, and i'm going to show you the pre-launch webinar that they did here they're going to walk through exactly what this is all about what you're going to get with this for those of you that are interested in getting flicksters next and taking your business to the next level by creating netflix like websites where you can play your own videos or even create a, a kind of a custom uh, cu cultivated list of other people's videos and be able to monetize it and everything as well. So um, yeah, enjoy. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. We're, we're good to go. So there are a couple of reasons why, why, why you could be here, right? Just put me put in the box why you think you are here. Okay. So it may be that you already have an online presence right? Or you want to start one quickly. Now we'll address both of them during this webinar. Um, you want to use proven tools that will grow your business online, will grow your presence online, and will grow your income online, okay? That's all the reasons why we're using the internet just to scale our businesses, right? Uh, you want to uh, replicate successful and proven online strategies, um, things that have been done before rather than just testing it out for yourself. The other reason why you want to be here is because you believe that there is, you know, uh, available technology to you that provides you with an unfair advantage over your competition. And certainly Flixsters will address that. Uh, and you want an easy system to replicate results. Um, sometimes I'm pausing just to, to see what the questions are that, that are coming in. Okay, so I don't see any pressing questions at the moment. So what's the problem? Um, and, and I've been in the launching business for about seven years now. So I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, so I can understand if you have uh, previously bought tools that didn't deliver to the promise on the sales page. One of the reasons why I myself have a group of beta testers that whatever tool we are promoting and whatever tool that we bring to the market is battle tested okay we do not bring any tool to the market that hasn't been tested before okay so but i've seen many tools that have and that have bugs and that have issues other than you know user issues in in terms of hey i didn't look through the tutorials i just go straight to the support to, to the support desk and ask the questions right you got that as well I'm not talking about that, I'm just talking about failing tools. Um, your experience of building a business is that it takes too long and uh, produces not enough income. Um, and, and I hear you. The, the, the key problem there is not so much that uh, you, know, you can't get the income or it takes too long. Many of the students I teach, many of the people I coach, they go jump from one um application to the other right they it's this shiny uh, object syndrome it's okay I, I see new technology here um i want to jump onto that and then you know the next week i'm going to jump on another uh, tool um and and that's a real problem uh you need you need to really focus on one single element and we believe that with the flexor platform that we're providing that is something that you can focus on and you know don't buy this shiny ob object for the next week just uh, leverage everything that's in this platform. Um, you don't have or can't produce enough content to uh, you know, lead enough people to your offer or services, right? Um, and that's all got to do with enough people. Uh, and enough people, in my mind, uh, we're looking at followers or 
predominantly an email list and a list that you own. Um, many ha have the belief that we, you need a big team to be successful online. This is not necessary. We are operating our business just by the two of us. Do we use external uh, resources? Yes, when it's uh, convenient and when we need to, but you don't really need a big team. Uh, and you need an email list uh, for long-term monetization. Um, now, that's not very, definitely not the problem if you have a long email list. The question is if you do not have an email list, right? The purpose for you to build your business is to create an email list or build out your email list so that any offers that you can create will uh, and can be presented to a captive audience. Okay. Um, let me uh, just do a quick introduction for those people that don't know us. Um, Danny and Kimberly DeVries, uh, we've been super affiliates for uh, many years now. I'm a launch consultant. I'm a seven figure copywriter. What does that mean? I write all the copy for the sales pages, for these webinars, and even uh, I write copy for uh, other people that have software products. I write copy for political uh, people that are in the political arena. I write their uh, speeches. Um, and funny enough that that trade, that skill, and I didn't know I did, I had that because from early on, um, I, I have dyslexia. That means that for me, reading has always been a, str a struggle. Uh, I always thought, okay, but because I, ha I am a bad reader, I'm also a bad writer. And that's not the case because I've got such a focus on reading um, that my writing skills and the simplicity of the writing skills is uh, understood by many. So there's where I found uh, my little niche. Um, Kimberly is uh, the presenter in, in our team. And you can see her on our sales videos. And she is a, a natural talent when it comes to that, right? You can't deny it. The way she reads a prompter is like she's just reading it from memory. Um, I have written a book, Launch Secrets. It's a little program that, uh, that uh, I do myself. I've got some students in coaching, uh, a couple of people, how to launch their uh, you know, service, software, info product, whatever they have uh, in a successful manner and applying everything we've learned over the last couple of years. Now, um, and, and this is not to, to brag, this is just to sh show you that we have had results, uh, not only with Flixsters last year, um, we've, had, uh, we've launched many, many products in the past. These are software products. We've also launched info products. We believe our niche is in building software, uh, and that's not software that we're building ourselves, but we team up with developer teams that have a unique skill and skill set to produce these uh, programs that for us, first of all, need to deliver results. And secondly, for you as a user, right? So our main objective here is to produce solid tools for online entrepreneurs that will grow their top and bottom line. Um, basically what it means is tools that make you money, right? That's our objective. And every time we talk to a developer team, this is our aim. Um, we have a strong rely, uh, uh, you know, we, we strongly rely on our reputation and on our customer support. Um, that does obviously not mean instant support. Uh, many people, especially people that go through the JVZoo channel, uh, believe that uh, support has to have to answer that question uh, quickly. And although we do, it doesn't mean that it's always instant, right? So. We, uh, we always make sure that you are supported with whatever you have, and uh, we go, go all out uh, many times just to go around the, uh, the support procedures, which you usually are, you go into a support site, you, you launch a ticket, uh, but many times we also go on chats, whether it's on Facebook or on Skype, in order to solve your problems. Okay? So, um, what will you learn today? What, were, what are we going to uh, go through? during this presentation um, and this hour that we just uh, are spending together, okay? We are gonna go and we, have a go we are gonna go on a deep dive on what Flixsters has to offer. But before we do that, I need to set you in a certain frame that you understand, okay, uh, Flixsters still is a tool, right? And a tool has to support your uh, business objectives. So what you will see is the easy way for your clients to consume your content from a single platform. Okay, let that sink in. Um, video, images, audio, text. 
Flexus Pro, the, 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 the product we launched a year ago, mainly focused on just the video aspect of it. And obviously that's a, a, a huge aspect of it still, but we believe that if we allow you to not only showcase your videos, but also your, you know, your podcast and your blogs, audio, your text, your images, um, you will be able to captivate that audience and keep them coming back for more. Okay, so that's that's one of the objectives that that we have today, and that we, that we want to that we want to show you. Now, while you do not have uh, to invest in expensive subscriptions to showcase videos, podcasts, and blogs. Okay, we are paying, and many of you are paying for hosting, hosting videos, hosting audios in your podcasts, hosting your blogs. Okay, that's um, a thing of the past when you're looking at fixtures. How to use other people's content to build your platform? Now, many people have said, "Yeah, but I don't have content to uh, to you know build out my uh, my platform." Well, it's not necessary. I do suggest that you include your own content, but you can also leverage other people's content to support your business, you know, depending on what niche you are. And do put in the chat which niche you're operating so that uh, we can use that during this webinar to uh, show you uh, what you can do in your particular niche. Niche, niche, however you say that, right? How to gain and grow your subscriber base in any niche uh, with your own content platform. Here we go. Any niche, right? We just touched upon that. And there is an, a separate opportunity for you people that, that are looking to make money leveraging this platform um, as an agency uh, or as a reseller. Okay. And we want to show you how you can use this platform to do so. Okay. There are many uh, existing influencers one of uh, uh, which we are showcasing today and is on this call today at least that's what she said yeah adrian we're going to show your uh, your flixus channel and uh, she's an influencer in her uh, niche and she is leveraging uh, flixers uh, as such so we will show you that and much much more, more. there are so many things that that we we can cover during this uh, this time together if there are specific elements that you you want to uh, get addressed, make sure you put it in the questions box. Okay. So the other thing that we're going to do is uh, because we value your participation during this webinar, and we encourage you to, you know, be interactive with me. Not only does it make it more enjoyable and not uh, just a monologue from my side, but it gets you something in return. Because for those people that are going to be interactive in the ch in the in the chat in the questions box. Uh, we have a couple of uh, great opportunities. One is free platform access to platform uh, for to to Flixus Next, right? So I'm asking you to interact with me, and the opportunity here is that you could get your account for Flixus Next set set up in the you know in the next hour. The other thing that uh, we're willing to uh, give one person, one individual, is a free hour of coaching. And that can be on anything. It can be on how do I build a funnel? How do I build a sales page? Uh, what do I need to do in my copy? How do I build out my uh, business? What do I need to put on my channel? Anything that you can think of for an hour long. And you can split it up in like 15 minutes every time or half an hour every time. Um, that's what we uh, were offering here. What we also do is we're going to give $100 cash away, uh, just straight into your uh, PayPal or wherever you want to do it. And we have a special opportunity for a select group of people at the end of this webinar. Uh, and those uh, are the people that believe that that opportunity is for them. Okay, I'm just going to keep the suspense there. And we'll just continue. So we've got people out of the astrology uh, niche. We've got people out of the coaching niche. We got people out of the agency, people that do agencies. Okay, great, awesome. Keep those questions coming, guys. So what we saw, uh, and, and, and one of the reasons why we created Flixers is there is a trend for video streaming and podcasting. Everyone knows the Netflixes, the Hulus, the Disney Plus, the TV, the Apple TV, the uh, Prime Video, right? And it's a market that is very fast growing. Okay, by 2024, the video streaming market is looking at like a 700 billion dollar market size okay 
Okay, that's epic. Not only that, if you look at the podcasting mar market, you can also see an exponential growth of what people are expecting. And these are smart people, I I'm assuming. Um, you can see the websites underneath uh, that are looking for the growth. And now the interesting part, if you look at the podcast market size and you can see you know, in, in which areas, news, politics, social, society and culture, comedy, sports, others, in every aspect, in every element, in every niche, you can see the growth coming. Okay, so it's not just one element, you know, one market uh, that, that is growing from this. It's just every market that is going to grow from this. And there's where, you know, oh, don't go that fast. There's where the Spotify's, the SoundClouds, the, the uh, Captivate, the Podbean, all these uh, companies are coming up and showing uh, and hosting a, actually the, 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 the podcasting. And giving clients the ability to uh, let them, you know, get their voice out to the world. So what's what's the opportunity for you? One is video streaming allows you to present your message online. As I said, not only that, but also podcasting does, right? But what we uh, experience with podcasts is that it allows to, you to gain and retain a following. There, are, there is a much more loyalty when it comes to podcasts than it is to video streaming. I don't know if you've noticed that yourself as well. If you listen to podcasts, you tend to listen to multiple podcasts from a single provider, right? So that's why podcast is so, uh, podcasting is so important. Um, blog post uh, is the easy way to share content because you don't have the video production, you don't have the scripting. It's just you know you, you write an article and, and and put it out there. So it's it's an easy way to share your message. Uh, the other two are more complicated, right? So blog post is easiest. Podcast audio is uh, a little bit more complicated. Video, especially when you do your own production, then you do your own video editing, is going to be a little bit more complicated than that. Now. What you want to do and what you need to do in your business is, you know, you want to own your followers. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, it's great to have a social media presence and many of you have uh, a Instagram account, a Facebook account, a YouTube account, a Twitter account and so on, right? So give me a one in the box if you have three or more uh, social media accounts. Right, uh, Andre says, yeah, that's me, right? So who else? Heike says, I've got four at least. <laughs> I have them all, Adrian says. Um, so yes, it, and, and that's great, but um, the downside of that is uh, you do not own those followers. YouTube owns the followers, Facebook owns the followers, and Facebook also own, owns the followers on Instagram, right? Because it's just one big company. Um, and also on Twitter. So what you want to do is you want to convert these followers in email addresses because only then you can uh, retarget these people. Other than you can use and spend ads on uh, Facebook and YouTube and Google, etc. But that's that takes money. And the reason why you're spending money with those platforms is because it's their, their, they're actually their customers and not yours. So what you want to do uh, quickly is to convert these followers that you have. Uh, and I see many accounts with thousands of followers, but um, what if your accounts get ba get, gets banned? Um, I've had so many people that are currently saying, hey, I, I shared my political view and now my, my account is, uh, uh, is banned. And, and it, it can happen to you. So that's, that's uh, the risk uh, in just operating on other people's platforms, right? So basically that's what I'm saying. So social media uh, and YouTube subscribers are people that at least uh, like your content uh, and only a small percentage you will, you will reach. That's another element that you need to know. If you are posting on, on Facebook, right? And you've got, I don't know how many friends or how, I don't know how many followers. Uh, Facebook does not present your post to all of your followers. They don't. It's just a small percentage that they will do that, okay? Once you own your own list, you are sure that they will receive at least receive your uh, your message right uh, when people have logged into your list and given you the email ad address they're actually saying to you listen i want to hear more of you 
other than, hey, I'm just following you. I just saw a video, I liked it, okay, right? They've added an extra step in that. And especially the large percentage of subscribers that you, that you have there is, 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 you know, for you to grow your business essential, okay? So the only way you can grow your business is by obtaining that precious email address, uh, and hopefully it's not a fake one, uh, but that precious email address to retarget without any cost. Okay, and there are other strategies that, that, that you can do in order to retarget people, but they most of the time involve money. That's what we want. So the other thing is um, why Flexters, right? So um, I think about two years ago, this is what the, the video that I, I saw. Let me just play it for you. And I'll just, let me see if I can increase the volume. There we go. One reason I'm so bad is because they even out click funnels have officially entered into the streaming wars. Okay, we got Netflix, we got Disney Plus, we got all these companies that we wanted to compete because all this stuff is just like eating your brain away. I wanted to give you guys something to actually help. So we created something a couple months ago called Funnel Flicks. That was the plan. That was the purpose to have this part inside of Funnel Flicks. Okay, we're always creating new content for Funnel Flicks members to help uh, help get them to uh, get better and better at, at growing their funnels. Like that's what it all comes down to, right? No. I mean, I love I, I love uh, Russell uh, Russell Brunson, and I follow whatever he does. And when he came out with uh, Funnel Flicks, I was like, "Why are you doing this? Why are you building a system um, in the area of video streaming?" And um, I thought about it, and then I got it. Right? Um, when I looked into Funnel Flicks, uh, not only does it cost you like three hundred bucks a month to 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 get that privilege. Because you will need to be a a subscriber to uh, ClickFunnels, uh, etc., and you have to even upgrade to a platinum level. But what was in the uh, funnel flicks was, and you can see that in on the screen, was his videos that he's teaching. You know, you got the one uh, funnel away channel uh, challenge. You've got the high ticket secrets, uh, uh, probably a series, ten uh, x secrets. But the other thing that you could see is. Videos from Jay Abraham, uh, Abraham uh, videos from Gary J. White from the Warrior Way Doctrine, uh, Funnel Universe also from someone else, Outsourced Force from a person I, I, I don't know either. And then it dawned to me, he's using other people's content to build this platform and he's ben benefiting from this, right? And not only that, he's building a platform for himself so that he can control it. Are you getting this? Are you getting the opportunity that an own platform delivers to you? Give me a one in the box if you get this. Okay, because if you're not getting this, you don't get why why we built Funnelflix, or in this case, Flixers, and why he created Funnelflix. Right. So you get that, right? Other than that, you know, you got a very uh, you got a lot of hosting uh, cost. You got co uh, uh, cost for uh, having your videos somewhere hosted or your blog post somewhere hosted, right? So I don't dwell, I want to dwell on that because the reason why you are here is because you want to see Flixers, right? So we build our own funnel Flix and we are uh, giving it to you. We're giving it to you to, to use. Now, the Flixers Next adds to the Netflix type of features, uh, the podcasting and the blogging, right? So there where you're currently using YouTube, you're currently using Facebook, you're using uh, StreamCloud, you're using Spotify, you're using WordPress, etc. That all either costs money or effort to put all your content out there. Right? Think about that. And we want to provide that on one single solution. The other thing that we've uh, allowed is because we're streaming videos through the platform, is we don't want to. And we don't want you to uh, download, upload, upload, download uh, videos that you've created on, for example, with a Facebook Live or a YouTube Live, etc. Because what happens now is uh, you do a live, you have to download the video, you have to upload it either to, you know, your Amazon S3 or your uh, Facebook, your Vimeo account, your Dropbox account. We don't want you to do that. We want you to keep your content there where it is. And be able to stream that content through the Flixters platform, so that uh, you your ability to send out your message, the message that is required for you to send out to your niche, 
is simply in one location the and 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 sent out from one location a location that you own okay the added added elements which was a request from many of our users is hey can you add google drive now the reason why google drive is required is because it doesn't cost you anything it doesn't cost you anything to host a video on google drive now surely they will advertise to you but once you have a video on google drive and you stream it through flixers one what do you achieve you achieve no cost for hosting and the ability to stream it to your clients in a controlled way right and we're going to show you that in a demo later okay so there's no more uploading downloading that you, you need to do in order to show your uh, message online what's always been very powerful and which continues to be the uh, powerful in Flixus next is the bulk video import okay many of the people uh, and and uh, if i look at the, the the list of attendees there are many many but i can see uh, uh, some people that already have the Flixus platform and some people that have not does not do not have the Flixus platform at all now um and we're going to go into a, a case study later on uh, from Adrian Obi that you know she said uh, I've, she is a content producer um, like I've seen no other. That means she's producing videos, many many videos that uh, her audience like to see. But what do you do if you got so many videos already produced on YouTube? Uh, you don't want to upload download anything to a new system right so any tool that i would present to her is say yeah uh, are you nuts i'm not gonna put in the work to do that and that's why we built this easy import from youtube that means you can see it on the left side and i'll show you it in the demo as well you can import videos from a specific channel that can be your channel or can be another channel um, and import all the videos at once and just the, the, this this just takes seconds for us to import these videos and stream them out through your platform so you can basically get up and running in minutes with this okay the other thing you can do is use keywords if you think hey i want videos from various uh, video producers uh, in a specific niche just uh, do that what you can see on the screen you know the keyword here is tiktok and you get all these tiktok videos and i can select which videos i want to import and not right so John Baptiste is saying, yeah, this is powerful. It is, it's very powerful. Okay, so the um, guys give me a one in the box if you if you have an issue with the sound, because Richard is saying, I'm just keeping losing sounds that might be on his end, but if the sound continues to be uh, an issue, then I'll have to switch to another microphone. Okay, give me sound is fine. Okay, great. Okay, uh, Richard, I, I suggest what you do is you log in and out, okay? That that sometimes helps the uh, the audio uh, problem. Okay, the other thing that you can do with this is what we call an ethical video hacking. Because with Flixters, you can import other people's videos. Uh, and in this case, I used an example from Russell Brunson that, uh, and he sells his programs, he sells his uh, challenges, he sells his, well, he sells many things, his books. Uh, and you can become an affiliate for that, right? Now he's already produced great videos to uh, advertise his product. So why would I create uh, another video like that if I don't have the budget or you know I don't have the ability to to create these videos? So I just import his videos, and what I do is I change the title if I need to uh, into my own title and the, the descriptions. I use my affiliate links for people to get to his sales pages. Right? So it's a very easy way if you're in affiliate marketing or if you want to earn something on the side to use this system, use other people's videos and uh, uh, get some affiliate income, right? Now, what's, what we have added uh, to Flixters Next? Uh, one request was, uh, can we add an intro video to the uh, channel? And I get the request. The reason why you want to have an intro video on your channel is to straight away um, 
let people know what they can find on your channel, but also to let them subscribe. Okay, so people can access your channel, uh, but in order for them to like or comment on your videos, they have to subscribe. That means they have to leave an e email address. Okay, so and the, the intro video is the perfect, you know, segue into getting people subscribe to your channel straight away when they come to your uh, to your channel. Okay, and I'll show you where you can find the intro video and how you can add that to your channel in the demo later on. And if I tend to forget that, then I'm sure you guys will remind me. Okay, so the next uh, thing is podcasting. This is a very important element that we added to uh, Flixters Next. Uh, it's what I said, it's the ability to retain your customers or retain your, 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 your followers and the people that are watching your channel. Most of the time they come into your channel because they wanna watch a video. If they see your podcast and you subscribe to your podcast, this is the way to retain them, okay? So whenever you've got another podcast coming out, you can email your, uh, your followers and say, hey, I've got the next podcast that you may wanna listen to, right? Because on this platform, people are, if they wanna uh, join it, you have to subscribe with your email address. You can't do that with YouTube. You can't do that with, with Facebook, right? So, and uh, obviously bot uh, blog posts, okay? So we've got the video portion, we've got the audio portion, and we have the text portion. Now, this is important for you to have blog, blog posts on your site because for many of the search engines um, and, and keywords that, uh, that search engines are looking for, they use blog posts to, to uh, provide people with results on their searches, right? So it is a very important element in your business to produce blog posts, okay? And the best thing, and I don't know if you realize it, if you make a video, you, you can extract the audio. If you make a video, you can extract the text. So once you've created a video, you can easily make it into a podcast and you can easily make it into a blog post. So that's what I always advise people to do. Although video is more work, you will have multiple versions of content that you create. Okay. Kevin says, this is all very exciting to me. Uh, let me see. Heike says, so Flixus Next is the ultimate distribution ecosystem. Uh, you're totally right. That's how we're trying to build this thing. Yes. Pat says, I have to go. Well, um, hopefully we're recording this webinar, um, but I can never promise a good delivery. Okay. Um, for that, we're relying on GoToWebinar. So I've had sometimes that the recording didn't go. So make sure that uh, you always join uh, live so you don't miss anything. Um, social sharing, yes, those social sharing buttons are there. As I said, you've got your own subscribers. That means you've got your own email addresses. It also checks IP addresses, okay? That you're actually dealing with not a bot, but a real uh, person, okay? The other thing that we have is a complete dashboard and we'll show you that in the, uh, in the demo and full analytics when you come to the dashboard. And this is the back end, the admin system uh, where you can do a lot of settings. Uh, and I've seen many of the users that are using Flixers not even using 50% of the power that Flixers uh, provides. Okay. Um, you have your own video manager. I'll show you that as well. Uh, we've got a comment manager. We have eight different languages in which you can do this. Uh, many of you are just working on the English language, but some uh, are using it for other languages. And we allow uh, people to, uh, to, to use those other languages, and especially when, when uh, people from other countries are going to go into your site. Okay, we've got day and night mode. I prefer the night mode because it's, it, it pops out the, uh, uh, the videos and the thumbnails a, a lot better. Uh, but it's a personal taste. So that's why uh, we've defaulted on uh, the night mode, but people can put it on a day mode, okay? One important thing is your, if you've got your account on Facebook or YouTube, uh, you are never sure whether you're gonna be banned or not. Now, I have a great story about that because my son uh, used, uh, you know, I mean, he's a gamer, right? Um, he's a gamer and he produces uh, these these videos and uh, sometimes they, they, they put some, uh, some music on that 
and uh, the music that he used i think it was copyrighted or something else you know he, he got he got penalized for that and uh, they have a uh, an account that has how many uh, subscribers i think it's about three hundred thousand subscribers right um and they weren't producing any videos anymore so i asked you why are you not producing videos anymore because he said because that if i add another video and i get slammed again they ban my account uh and then i got, got nothing anymore so you, you can see the the the, the you know the the, the lack of power that you have when you use other people's platforms okay so a, a couple of examples of niches that you can think about you can have the TikTok videos you know uh, a channel just just with that uh, which people love to consume those videos uh, you can have a, a marketing video uh, in this case you know Russell uh, you got Gary V etc uh, guru videos so basically if you have your own, uh, if you're your own little guru, guru, and we showed that in the case study today, uh, you'll have uh, that. You can have affiliate video streaming. So, uh, if you're into selling apps, you can do that. Uh, if you're into politics, whether it's on the liberal side, on the conservative side, these these sites have many many followers. Why? Because they follow a certain narrative, narrative that people like and like to comment on it. So these do very well. Uh, whether you're in the real estate uh, uh, video streaming. So we have a, on Flixers a, a channel that uh, Kimberly uses for her real estate business. Uh, whether you're in the roofing uh, industry, right? If you're producing instruction videos or uh, educational videos to explain why uh, one type of roof is better than the other type of roof, right? So there are many, many uh, things that you can think of that you can use with Flixers. So before we continue and to keep you uh, you know, excited about uh, Flixers and uh, getting my, a, a lot of comments in the in the question box. Uh, I want to give a free ca a candle away. So let me just have a look at the questions and see who's been very active in this. Okay. So the first person that I'd like to provide a free Flixers Next account to. And you may have a Flixers Pro, but then you'll be upgraded to Flixers uh, next would be Kevin George. So Kevin, you are the first winner of a free access to Flixers next. So I'm going to write your na name down so I can find your email address after. Okay. Let's go. Now, um, we are going to launch Flixers uh, next next week on Monday. Doors will open, but during this webinar, uh, we're going to provide our customers, that means uh, customers from Kimberly and, and me, uh, a first peek and a first opportunity to get in. Okay, so um, we have a couple of upgrades, and in the demo, I want to show you all the upgrades altogether. I don't want to do a demo uh, after each uh, element. Okay, so what can you expect in the ultimate, so the upgrade that we would set, uh, we would provide you? Long and behold, many, many, many people have asked, can I change out this Flixsters logo uh, and, and put my own logo in? Okay. Now that wasn't very easy for us to program, although we, we did manage it. And it is now possible with uh, Flixsters Next Ultimate Package to swap out the Flixsters logo. So in this case, you can see that on one of my web, uh, on one of my channels is where I switched out this logo. Okay, I'll show you how, how you can do that. Um, now, obviously, these imports are going to be available for uh, Flixsters Next on the front end. Uh, so I'll have to take this out. It originally was on the upsell, but now we, we are uh, putting that in the front end. Um, what you can do with Ultimate as well is update your view count and your like count. Okay, now... Um, you can think, hey, that's cheeky. Well, uh, no, it's not. Uh, and I obviously, it's depending on, on what you want to do yourself. But when you import uh, videos from uh, YouTube or from Facebook, obviously, they already had views on that location, right? So it, it wouldn't be fair to you if, if views would stay on zero or likes would stay on zero while you already have thousands of views on YouTube or wherever platform, right? So we do create the ability to update your views and likes uh, so that it shows how popular your videos 
really are. Okay. Um, Someone says, I, I, I assume it's hosted on your platform. Your videos do not need to be hosted on our platform. That's the, the great thing about Flex. They don't. If you've got your videos on Google Drive, where you don't pay any uh, hosting, uh, we limit hosting to a, a certain amount. Can't, can't remember what, what exactly. We can't uh, allow unlimited hosting. Um, but it's not necessary. You don't need to, to host your videos on, our, on Flexus, right? Okay, I hope you, you get that. Okay, so the other thing is that we uh, integrated a, a couple of uh, autoresponders that are widely used. Okay, the reason why is when they subscribe to your channel and you've got the email and you've got a new podcast and you want, uh, you want to inform your uh, clients of the new podcast, you want to have these email addresses in your autoresponder so that you can send them a message, right? This is the whole retargeting game. So, um, although you can download or uh, copy all the email addresses from Flixsters into an autoresponder or into whatever uh, system you're using, um, this integration just makes it so much easier. Okay, it makes it automated. Every time someone subscribes, it's added to your list. We, uh, um, you can create uh, channels and playlists with Ultimate. You can, uh, uh, you have, you will have an integrated uh, uh, messenger in uh, Ultimate, in the Ultimate upgrade. And I'll show you how that works. Uh, so people can interact with you on the platform itself. And we've got a pay upgrade. Okay, so that was the Ultimate upgrade. Biggest feature in the Ultimate upgrade is I wanna exchange out my, uh, my logo, right? So in the pay upgrade is where actually not only you'll be able to showcase your videos, you can put a price on your videos. Now think about it. Why would I ask a price for a certain video? Okay. Give give me give me a reason why you would in in the in the chat box why would you ask a certain price for a video? Yeah, right. Delphine says training. David says educational and training. If you're providing value to someone else for which you can get value in return you can ask a price for a video right if if you have a full course and you can actually uh, put a price on a category or you can put the price on a full channel with flixsters you can actually create a flixster channel that is just like a membership program right um that's what you can create right if you have premium content you can ask a price if you produce, yeah, exactly, I get master classes. You know, if you uh, educate people in making money, Oscar, that's right. So adding the feature or at least an amount to a video, which you know people would want to watch, is how you can monetize your channel. Okay. Again, our objective is not to make things easier. Uh, our objective, objective is not just to make it more safer and, 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 and not be under the control of other platforms, but our aim is for you to earn money, right? That's our objective with every, every platform that we bring out there. So we can have uh, views be paid. It's pay-per-view. It's a uh, term that is uh, very much used in the streaming and on-demand video uh, platforms. You know, you must have uh, watched a movie and, and paid for it, right? So that's on demand. Ike says, yeah, you know, if, if I want to do a summit or, or, I do wor uh, or if I want to do workshops, I want to ask a price for it. And with integration with PayPal and Stripe, our platform is allowed to do that. You can see that on this, this particular video. Now I'm just showing the screenshot of the video where you can put a price in here. Now, if you leave it empty, it's a free video. If you put an amount in there, then and the minimum price has to be one dollar or whatever uh, currency you're, you're using at that at the time. Um, you have to at least do one dollar, right? The other way that you can monetize your channel is not only by asking money for uh, views or for access to your channel. You can also uh, add advertisements to your site. Now, 
why would you want to do that? One, it's because you can earn money that way. Uh, this is an example of uh, Kimberly's uh, site where she wants to have people, you know, on her email a list uh, while getting her book. So we redirect her, uh, them to a opt-in page where they uh, can can get their uh, get her uh, book in, in exchange for uh, their email platform uh, for for their email address, right? Um, the other thing is. If you have certain videos in a specific niche, for example, the software niche, or uh, you are in the info product space, uh, and you're producing uh, educational videos, and there are other people that are uh, providing those courses, then you can get some affiliate income using these ads. All right. So it's another way to monetize your channel using ads that you can uh, create and, and put on strategic locations here on top of the video or besides the, the comment section or uh, or underneath the comment section or, and besides the uh, description, right? There's the strategic locations where these ads can be placed. Okay, and you can do that with Flixsters. Okay. Um, with this upgrade, the other thing that you can you you can do is you can change out the category names. Now they are pre-filled with uh, film and animation, music, uh, pets, entertainment, and so on. Right? It may be that for your niche, that is not very practical. Now uh, on YouTube, that's the only thing you can choose. On Flixsters, you can just change out these names and use your own categories. I'll show you that in an example as well. Now, when you do so, because we are providing eight language supports and you want to be able to use all the languages, you will also need to change those languages into, uh, or, the, or that, that phrase what you're using into those languages. Okay, as I said, you can also set the whole site as a premium site. In, in this case, if they wanna uh, see your videos, they'll have to pay for it your, uh, first, okay? Just like with Netflix, if you wanna use Netflix, you have to pay, I don't know, a subscription of eight, eight dollars? At least uh, when, I, uh, when I got it, it was eight euros when I was still in Europe. So who's looking forward to this demo? Give me a one in the box if you're excited to see Flixsters live in action. I'm just gonna take a sip of my drink here. A lot of ones, a lot of yeses, even multiple ones. So um, give me a minute to get out of here. And we'll come back to it later on. And let me just switch my screen. Let me see if I can switch the screen right here. Um, screen. I don't know if that's the main screen or. That's the wrong screen. Here we go. So give me a one in the box if you can see the Afflictive channel on your screen right now. Okay, I can see the ones. Okay, so this is a Afflictive channel that I just created. And let me let me go from, uh, you know, just when you start your Afflictive channel, okay? So when you start your Afflictive channel, you likely have no videos in there, right? So whenever you come to, and you've set up your, your Afflictive channel, you uh, have to log in here on the right. You have to click on this icon and uh, click login. Okay, I'm already logged in, but that's the first thing that you need. Uh, you will have received when you set up your channel your uh, login name, which is usually your uh, your email address and a password. Okay, once you do that, you see depending on which version you have um, these menu options and these menu options here on the admin panel. Okay. So first of all, we don't do anything here because there are no videos, right? When you just come to this. So we'll go to the admin panel and I've already got this open. And the first screen that you would see is the dashboard. You'll see how many videos. And in this case, when you just uh, you know created your channel, these will be all zero, 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 right? The first thing you, what you wanna do is when you wanna use bulk import from uh, YouTube, is you have to go to settings, general settings, in order to enter your API key for YouTube. Okay, and we have separate instructions. Won't go through that now. 
but uh, how how you can use how you how you can how you can do that and obtain this API key. When you fill this in, you just press save, and the next thing you do is you go to videos, import videos, import videos from YouTube, and watch this. Um, so in this case, I'm talking about a live uh, a live file channel, right? So um, I can use a keyword to find lifestyle type of videos. Maybe lifestyle even works, right? Uh, and if I want to import it into a certain category, maybe entertainment, then I can select that here. And I don't want to auto import. Uh, I just want to select the videos that it the system produces itself from YouTube. I click search, and what you'll see is all the videos with the key uh, with the keyword lifestyle. Okay, for some reason, when you click lifestyle, you get uh, many fancy cars. <laughs> Do you notice that? You get many fancy cars. So if you're a car lover, you may want to uh, uh, use those videos to import into your channel. If you don't like a, a, a certain video, maybe it's in another language. Let me see if I've got something in another language here that you do not want to import. No, nope, not necessarily, I think. Then you just click, uh, click this box, right? If I don't want to uh, have this video on my channel, or I don't want to have that video on my channel, just deselect it. If I don't think it's it's enough videos that I've imported, you can do load more, and it'll produce even more videos that you can import. Okay, you see that? So once you've selected your uh, videos, I can import selected, and you can see that it's just that easy. And these once I deselected uh, to import those videos. So if I go back to my channel and I refresh. All the videos you can see are in here right now. It's that easy. So these are other people's videos. If you have your own channel on YouTube, what you do is you go back to your admin panel. And in this case, and uh, taking it from um, YouTube. So let me just open YouTube. Let me show you how you can do that. And I can pick any channel. OK, it's a bit slow because we're on a webinar at the moment. So, for example, I want ambient music, um, and I can see it is this is the channel, right? And it always produces a intro. But on the URL, what you can see is this code, and this code is actually the channel code. Okay, you just copy that channel code, go back to your admin panel, enter that code, and you choose import from channel. Okay, in this case, it's music. Let it search. And you can see all the videos that are from that particular channel. If this is your own channel, awesome, great. Select all the videos and click import, right? If you don't have enough, look more. If you want to have a channel that has uh, ambient music, you don't need to create the content. The content is already there, right? How many videos have already been created, how much music has already been created, you just use it. Now, many times uh, I've been asked, but uh, hey, uh, can you really use other people's content? Actually, you can. If you use YouTube, the uh, current policy is if you stream, and again, I'm not downloading the content, I'm not uploading it to my own platform, I'm streaming it through my own platform, is kind of embedding a video that has been made public. Right, so this video in here, any video which I would select is I can share it and I've got a link that I can share, right? Or I can use an embed code, right? This embed code I can put on my website, I can put anywhere. It's allowed by YouTube. And that's what we are leveraging with Flixers, that technology. So is it allowed to use other people's content? Yes, if you do it this way, yes, you can, right? And build your list with other people's content. So that's obviously the, most of the time that's, that's the way that you would import uh, videos. Now, what if you have videos on other uh, hosting platforms? 
for that, you go to your channel, you have to log in as a user, and then you see this blue camera. And then uh, what you can do is you can uh, local upload, which I do not suggest, especially when you have bigger files, just put it on Google Drive and, and stream it through Flixsters. Um, but you can cloud import, and you can put here any URL from YouTube, Vimeo, TikTok, MP3, Facebook, Google Drive, and Dropbox. Okay, now this is single video import. This is not bulk import. So you will have to select the URL. In this case, I can, I, can, I can do a TikTok video. I can fetch the video, right? I can put in my own uh, uh, title. This is actually a video on TikTok. Uh, I can put my own uh, title, my own description, uh, put it in the category I want, et cetera, and then publish it, right? I need to put a title in. I need to put a description in. And publish it. And I've got this uh, video that, that 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 will show, right? There we go. Go and play it. I just uh, so this is a, a a streaming a current video on TikTok through your channel. Videos that are in high demand, at least uh, the way they uh, a lot of people want to want to look at, uh, uh, you know, spend their time on. Uh, on TikTok. It's like watching TV. I won't qualify that. Um, okay, so th that's what you can do in terms of videos. Now, in order to add your podcast, uh, I'm, I'm thinking if I would, let me just go through the uh, elements of the admin panel first so that actually you know what's included on the back end. So here is where uh, several features that I just discussed in, this, in the slides you can find. Okay, when you go to uh, the dashboard, you see the analytics. When you go into settings, general settings is the, U U the uh, YouTube API, and the payment settings is if you want to, you know, one is to add your PayPal account and your Stripe account. Your white label settings, what we call a white label, it's not a true white label. Okay, there's a difference, and we'll talk about that later, is where you can add your logo and your favicon. Now, your logo is the logo that that is presented here, right? Where the Flixsters logo is. And the Fabicon is this little icon on the top. Okay, so if you look at this channel, for example, this is my my product launch channel. Uh, you can see the uh, logo on the on 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 the left on the top left, right? And you can see that the Fabicon has changed from the the Flixsters Fabicon into my own, which is a little D for Danny. Got here the uh, introduction uh, video on this channel, and that's the typically the first video that that people will see, and they can play this video straight away when they they come into the channel. Obviously, they can X out and they can look at other videos on my channel. Okay, so that's the logo and the favicon. Then uh, site settings is all the settings that are relevant uh, for the search engine. So I always suggest that you do fill these in uh, so that the search engines can find your channel as well. You can insert some custom code here. Uh, that is for if you if you run some ads, if you want to have people uh, retargeted, you can put here uh, your Google Pixel or your Facebook Pixel. That's the area that you can find here. And the site settings, pre the the site premium settings is if you enable that, people uh, before they look at any video, they have to pay a price. Okay, that's on this channel. It's now zero. Then you can see users. Uh, in this case, you can see me as a user because I'm the only user here. Uh, but you can see here, here's my email address. I can just copy and paste it to, to my autoresponder. Manage videos is any video that you have just uh, imported, you can obviously also delete. You just select that and delete it here with this delete uh, icon. You can also edit it. So in this case, I can go to the edit and I can edit the description, I can edit the, the title, and I can edit the thumbnail, just uh, adding a uh, picture. Right, so if I want to add a picture here, I just can add a thumbnail there. Okay, let me just go back. The other thing that I showed you in one of the upgrades is that I can update the views because this video, uh, if I, it's my own video or someone else's video, I can update the view count. So if it has like 120 uh, views and 12 likes, then I can add that here, save changes, and now it will show those views and likes on this video. Okay, so that's what you can do on managed videos. You can 
uh, put in a keyword if you've got many videos to find your the video that you want to uh, do and you can have different selection options here as well uh, we have blog posts what we call articles uh, you can add a new article uh, blog post here uh, with a thumbnail and you can manage articles here so we've got this one article that uh, we added on this channel we've got uh, managed podcasts don't know if there's a pod there is a podcast here it's probably a test um, for example, what would people see if I go here to my podcast? Is they see this little icon and multiple I icons if you've got multiple podcasts. You just go into the podcast itself and people can play it. All right. What people can also do is they can fast forward and uh, go back and they can play it on different speeds, which is very important for podcasts because some people like to consume your content at a higher speed. Uh, I used to do that. I, I, well, I do that all the time when I uh, go through books, audio books. Okay, so that's a, a key feature. Um, other things on the admin channel uh, or admin panel is the intro video. Intro video that you saw on my channel is currently disabled for this uh, channel, but I can pick any video that I've uploaded uh, or imported and produce it as an intro video. Okay, so. Not doing that for this account. Autoresponders, you can connect your autoresponders here. You can manage comments. Any comment that is has been uh, made on uh, one of your uh, videos, you will see here. So you don't have to go to a specific video to see if there's a comment. Okay, you can just do that from a single screen. You can advertise, as I showed, you know, on the header footer, the watch page sidebar, or the watch comment, you know, next to, uh, I think it's underneath the, the, the uh, comments. Um, and you can change here the uh, the categories. Okay, so if you want to uh, change out the category of film and animation, what I told you is not only you have to do that in English, but all the eight other uh, languages if you want to use that. Okay, if you know your audience is just English, you can just change this. And you can make this category a premium category. So if you have a category that is just free, people that can consume your free uh, uh, videos, just create a category that is premium for your uh, videos that you want to, the series of videos that you want to uh, have as uh, paid. Okay, and then you have pages, manage pages. This is what you see on a specific channel on the bottom. Okay, so this is uh, in terms of views, privacy policy, and about. If you look at underneath this channel, you can see the terms of use, privacy policy, and about. Uh, I suggest that you do fill these in so that people know what your policy is, okay, for for use, etc. That's all what you do on the back end of Clicksters. Now on the front end, let me go to this uh, channel again. Takes a minute to load, uh, and um, if you want to add, I, I showed you the, this icon. Uh, for cloud import, single cloud import and uh, file upload. You've got here a comments uh, or an inbox section where if you've got a user that uh, is sending you a message, uh, you can see that here. And you've got uh, updates here. If you've got a message or you've got a, a recent like, you can see that uh, next to the bell icon. Okay, so it, it, it prompts you for any updates that have been made on your, uh, on your channel. You do have to log in for that. So don't forget, forget about that. Then on the left side, you obviously have your blog posts. You can see there's a blog post here. If you want to create a blog post, you can also do it from here. The other uh, way was through the admin panel and create it. But here is where you can also create your blog post. And for your podcast, here's the way you create your podcast. It's pretty easy. You uh, upload your audio file. You upload an image, select your category, enter a tag, else it doesn't publish. And uh, you need to uh, enter in a title and a description. Okay. And then what people will see is what they see, for example, in this uh, podcast that I just showed you. There are other uh, elements. So uh, if you look at uh, the channel, this is the channel uh, URL that uh, you can also send people to. Oh, sorry. I think I don't think I've populated that one yet. So in this case, this is the channel view of my channel, uh, you can add a banner that you can see here. You can add your profile picture 
And uh, here is where the videos are that are specific to this channel. Here's where you can find the playlists. Now, how do you add videos to a playlist? Pretty simple. You select a video that you want to add to a playlist. Get a couple of things that you, you can see here. Um, if you uh, click share is where the, the video can be shared on social media platforms and you can embed a video on your site, just like what you can do in YouTube. If you want to add it to a playlist, you can one, create a playlist and then check mark the playlist so that uh, the system knows that this video needs to be added to a certain playlist. Okay. And also from here, you can add the video again if you want to uh, edit anything. Uh, if it's not correct, or if you want to include your your affiliate link for a video that you've imported from someone else, right? Um, the other thing that you can also do is that, uh, at least users, is you, they can click autoplay. That means after one video, the next video will be autoplayed in a specific uh, playlist. So especially when I go to playlists, I don't know if I've added everything to a playlist. I think I have. Oh, no. So. If I click on the playlist, you can see all the videos that are included in this playlist. And it'll go one by one, right? Day one, two, three, et cetera. Okay, that's where playlists are really helpful. And if you want to send people to a playlist, you just use that URL that Flix has produced and you can send them straight away to a playlist that you want them to see. Okay. Kevin says, man, you thought of everything. Yes. Well, um, actually, our users have thought of many things that we've implemented in here. And that's that's why we love that. Um, anything that you've missed from my presentation versus the demo that you've said, hey, you talked about this, but I haven't seen it yet. Can you schedule uploads? Uh, no, you cannot schedule uploads. But uh, again, uh, Thomas, what I suggest you do is we we are allowing the upload, but I do not suggest that you use the up, uh, upload. Just just use the uh, one. You will get into a maximum that you could upload, um, and if if that is really what your question is about uploading, because if it's importing, importing is unlimited. What I showed you. Other than the YouTube API may limit you in terms of how many uh, videos you import on a day or in a certain period of time. The, uh, the easy way to uh, go about that when that happens is just create another API uh, key and then you can continue straight uh, from there. If you can see that here, you know, uh, I've also uh, produced many of those APIs. Okay. How to put uh, up an intro video. Um, intro video is uh, pretty simple. You just go to the section intro video and you set set intro video and you select the video that you would like to use as an intro. Okay. So in this case, uh, if I go to the admin panel on this, this one, I selected day one as my intro video. Okay. Oh, Thomas, you meant importing. Yeah, importing is, it is not scheduled. Um, uh, but you can have unlimited imports, bulk import and single import. So does the video have to be public uh, uh, on our channel? And when you're talking about on our channel, Delphine is uh, on your YouTube channel? Yes, it has to. So the only way I can import from a YouTube is if these videos have complied with uh, the YouTube policy that says yes, uh, people can share this video on their websites. Okay, so it has to be public. So that is indeed the case. Um, so let me just uh, flip the screen again, and then uh, I'll, we'll go back to the presentation. And I just want you to uh, uh, want to show you a couple of opportunities that you have with the Flixer system. Okay, and then we'll come back to the case study that I want to show you later on. Okay, so uh, bear with me while I uh, share another screen. It's always interesting when uh, when that happens. Um, I have to click this screen and then play it. And if it's okay, you now see a screen that says demo. Just give me a one in the box if you can see a screen that says demo. Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Daniel. 
Okay, before we uh, continue, let me make someone else happy. Who wants to be happy? So we've got a free pro account, or in this case, a free next account to give away. So let me have a look at the comment box. And if you've been very responsive, then I see your name many, many times. And when I see your name many, many times, you may be able to get a Flixus Next account set up for you. And the lucky winner, besides Kevin George, that has already got it. Um, Kevin, you got to continue to, to put your comments in. Um, there's more opportunity to get at the end of the webinar. Uh, is Thomas White. Thomas, congratulations with your account. It'll be coming your way soon. Okay, so next thing I want to talk to you about is the agency upgrade. Yes, there is an agency upgrade. Now, this may not be for everyone, but uh, let me flip through this very quickly. If you want to uh, allow other people to have Netflix, uh, uh, Netflix, Flixster's accounts, in this case, Flixster's Next accounts, then you may want to look at the agency upgrade, which allows you a number of accounts that you can resell, basically. Okay, you will have your own client creation dashboard. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to show you mine, but because there's email addresses in there, um, and uh, you can uh, add accounts through your own dashboard. Now we have done the hard selling for you. We've produced videos that you can uh, use in your sales process. If you want to do your own videos, that's okay. Uh, we've got a, a, a spokesperson visit video, which Kimberly did, and we've got a doodle video. Uh, you can use this video with your own voice if you want to do that. Hi, let me ask you a question. What if there was a way to easily grow your business without spending tons of money on advertising? Would you be interested? So let me ask you this. What if you could start generating more income starting as early as tomorrow? There we go. I won't play the whole video, uh, but you, you can understand that that's, that video is ready made for you. Uh, if you want to uh, resell uh, these uh, Flixters accounts, you can use that video or you can download it. You can edit it the way you want. It's up to you. Okay, the other thing that we're providing you is done for you sales tools. You've got a sales presentation that you can use. You can have invoice templates, work agreements, lead capture sites, uh, or site, and swipes, right? So uh, messages that you can send people to show what opportunity there is uh, for you as an agency. Now, I do not know which business may not uh, want or need a Flixus channel, okay? If you're serious about marketing online, uh, even when you're a local business, uh, and you can see, you could see that from the roof, for example, that I gave, you know, if you wanna educate people on your expertise, you want to have this, right? It's a great way to market your business and to get leads online. So it's a big opportunity for you. It's all done for you. The agency package includes everything you need, you know, the setup dashboard to add your and manage your clients, the Flixters Pro, uh, or in this case, the Flixters Next, Flixters Ultimate, Flixters Pay, an outreach and follow up email, uh, a website that you can use uh, to gain new local businesses, three videos, and why that went, I don't know, uh, three sales videos that's present that have been presented by Kimberly, a professional. Um, I don't know why it goes, I just shouldn't touch it, I guess. Um, um, a PowerPoint presentation that you can change uh, you can put your logo on etc a work agreement that you can use just straight from the get-go and an invoice template it's all included there okay so what's included in the complete flixters suite we've got the flixters next that um if you know apart from the launch that will happen next week is going to go for 67 per year and uh, the ultimate 77 a year, pay 97 a year and the agency 297 a year. That's about 537 a year. Um, but obviously that's not something that uh, I wanna pitch to you now. The launch for this platform will happen on Monday next week, okay? We will open the gate and all these elements will have a one-time fee, not a yearly fee, not a monthly fee, but a one-time fee, okay? That's what I can promise you already. Now, uh, that's to set the stage. Uh, there is, uh, by the way, another opportunity that I will uh, give you today, 
Uh, but for that, I first want to show you a case study. Now, I know someone has been really, really excited about seeing this. Uh, she's on uh, this particular call and she just mentioned, wow, I love it. Yes, we do. And I uh, love what you've done with Flixster. So let's have a look at Adrian Obi's hey, uh, uh, channel on uh, Flixsters. It's called gregarious.flixsters.com. If you want to, uh, uh, you know, go there on your own uh, laptop, on your mobile, whatever you want to do, go there now. Uh, uh, but I will also show it from the screen right here. Okay, so if you bear with me, I have to switch screens again. Switching screen to three. There we go. That went fast. Um, if I'm rightly informed by the system, you can now see the YouTube channel for astrology, a look inside. Give me a one if you can see this. Okay, there it's, there is always a little bit of a delay and I think, okay, am I speaking to myself? And here is where the ones come. And what you can see here is a channel uh, from Adrian and Adrian has many videos. She is a video producer like no tomorrow, okay? She's got her intro video. She's got her channel all set up. She's got uh, a phenomenal three and a half thousand subscribers. Um, and growing quickly. This is a niche that is growing like crazy. Okay, so she's uh, produced these videos. Uh, the other thing that she has, she has a Facebook account with all videos there. Uh, these are all messages that people are sending me. Um, you can see the videos that are here. Now it would be crazy for Adrian to get all those videos uploaded, downloaded, and get it to her Flixus channel, right? Adrian has a podcast uh, hosting uh, system set up with SoundCloud. Now, another system that she has to use to you know, get her message out. And what Adrian has, she has a website where she puts her blogs, right? All these blogs that she's a very active influencer in her niche. Um, and when I first uh, got in contact with Adrian, she had, uh, you know, she, she just had bought uh, Flix to grow and she said, well, um, hey, it, it doesn't import. I have an issue, right? So our relationship really uh, was created because she had an issue. She had a question. And uh, because I was uh, able to you know, help her with, with the issue she had, uh, we had a, uh, a relationship where I said, you know, you've got so much content on your platform. We are building a system that you can, you can include everything on just one single Platform. She had no idea that Flixsters was able to do that. Uh, and this is the uh, channel that you can see when you type the URL that I showed you, gregarious.flixsters.com. Okay. Um, what attracted uh, uh, Adrian to the channel is like, hey, I can put my, uh, my videos on it, but I can also put other people's videos on it. So people that have getting a lot of views in my niche, in my specific, uh, uh, you know, neck of the woods, I can actually pull to my channel as well. So I don't have to always produce my own videos. And that's what you can see here. She's got her own videos and she's got other people's videos in here, right? The other thing is she added blog posts. Look at the amount of blog posts that she has. Why? Because these blog posts will pull her clients to the channel and make them interact. And the great thing about this is, um, you know, she can share the blog post, but if you go to a video, let me just log out for a second. Okay, so at this point, when you enter this, the, the, the channel, you are entering the channel as a user. So uh, when I go to one of Agent's videos and I think, hey, this is a great video. When you uh, click the like or the dislike, or you want to share, or people that come to your page, and they want to leave a comment, they are asked to sign up for your platform. So there's directly a way for you to capture your, your, uh, your email address. Now, what she has here is she has a channel with all her videos, um, with her blog post, with her uh, podcast, and all uh, together. So she only needs one platform where she can direct her, uh, her uh, audience to. Okay, and get that precious email address. Okay, so 
that's what I wanted to show you in terms of uh, what Adrian has done with her Flixus channel. Now, Adrian, uh, I haven't told you that before, but you haven't changed your uh, your Fapicon yet. I suggest you do that, uh, other than just having your gregarious logo here on the top. Okay. So let me go back to the presentation. I always have to move your comments when I do that. There we go. So this is the case study. She has the YouTube uh, channel, right? She already has the videos there. You don't want to uh, have that uploaded and downloaded. She has a SoundCloud podcast here. She has a blog post on a, web, a website. You can just go through the, to the URLs to, to have a look at those. And, um, you know, you, you, she can now with Flixsters not only put her own videos in, but also other people's videos in so that she can capture audiences from other people onto her site. Now, uh, you can see on the left side, that's the mobile view. And then on the right side is the desktop view. On mobile, it looks pretty awesome as well. Right? And then you can see on the bottom, there are the menu options rather than on the left side that you have on the desktop version. So you can do this on any device. Why is that important? Because when uh, people want to listen to Adrian's uh, podcasts, they can do that on the mobile device. They can go anywhere. They can sit in their car. They can be on a walk. Um, they can sit on the beach uh, and, and, and listen to what, uh, what she has to offer. Uh, and because this is a spiritual site, sometimes that's uh, required, right? You want, you want to be somewhere else than behind the computer. You can see that she has a blog post here, uh, and you can see how that looks on a mobile device as well. And uh, this was the um, testimonial. It wasn't really a testimonial, but that, this was the message that she sent me once she figured out, hey, I can now upload my, and goes, upload my video straight away. Here it says, Oh my God, I am already in love. Okay, here is what I did not tell you. I am an online influencer who runs several groups with a combined total of 100,000 people. Now, don't be modest. There's much more than that, Adrian. Um, I would love to be an affiliate or reseller. Now, uh, we just went through the uh, agency. So the agency uh, uh, does uh, provide that if you uh, get that. Uh, I, I promise I sing your praise, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, I'm so excited that this is actually working. Uh, once I figured out how to upload the videos, let you have thousands of amazing videos on you know, her channel, right? So, and you can see that there are many, many uh, videos that people can consume, can uh, interact with and leave their email address, right? So uh, this is the testimonial that Adrian uh, left. Hello, my name is Adrian Obi. And I'm the creator of Astrology Alert Inside and GetMeARealJob.com. And now I'm Gregarious.Flixsters.com. And I've got to tell you, Gregarious.Flixsters.com has become my favorite place to go. I love Flixsters. It's been amazing. It's been so easy and so simple for me to get things going there. Um, there were a little bumps, but you know what the great thing is? I had so much inside help from Danny and their team. And I mean, I love it. I What I love about Flixsters is that we can bypass all the ads, all of the gunk, all of the things they're putting in our computer, the commercials that interrupt us whenever we go to say um, YouTube or Facebook, right? But um, the thing is with this, that's bypassed. You don't have to deal with that. Also, another thing I, I don't like with the videos um, on YouTube is you might start them off on your video and you'll walk away and come back and they're so far away from where you started that they might never find their way back to you. This way, our videos are isolated and almost like we have a captive audience. And I love that. It's a really great part of Flixsters. The other thing I love is the fact that we can put our blogs there. We can put our podcasts there. I love the fact that we can inhale our videos from places like YouTube, or we can upload our own videos and just put our own videos there. It's it's an amazing platform. I'm not gonna lie, I have not figured out all the inside steps to this platform, but from what I gather, there's even more that I can do with making videos for my affiliate links and other things like that. So I'm really excited. And I think this is a win-win for anyone who decides to get Flixsters.com. 
Yeah, that's that, that that was very kind for uh, uh, Adrian to leave that uh, that message for uh, for us. But she touches on uh, two crucial items that are very important for her videos on uh, uh, that are produced online. What what the videos will do on YouTube is uh, obviously when you uh, switch on your commercials, but even if you don't, YouTube will produce uh, these ads uh, during your videos, after your videos, before your videos. Um, in order to monetize their company, right? Um, and when you stream videos through Flixsters, that is all taken care of. That's that that doesn't happen. So especially when you have videos in astrology where you want to keep people onto your video and not have an ad just in the middle of a video, which is very disruptive, right? Um, you don't want to have that, right? So it's a very uh, important element, and if that is relevant for your niche, you know that those ads will not run if you use Flixsters uh, as a platform. Okay. Um, Greg, you say, I guess my message won't be answered. I, I must have missed it. So if you can just repeat that. Um, sometimes I just miss uh, questions because there's so many people on the call. Okay, so huge opportunity um, is what we want to go into next, okay? What I want to show you is, okay, I, at the beginning of the presentation, I showed you, hey, th th this is uh, Russell, he's doing funnel flicks, he's putting uh, other uh, people's videos into his own platform, right? This is a way of collaborating with people in your, uh, in your niche. Uh, I know Adrian does that as well. She does a lot of co uh, collaborations. Uh, and therefore, if she shows other people's videos in her niche, people that she knows on her channel, then people are going to their channel. Uh, and the other thing that Adrian can do is she, she can use the Flixus program to either be an affiliate, uh, and I know she's already signed up as an affiliate, to, uh, to show this to her friends in uh, the niche that she's operating in. Um, but there's another opportunity as well, because um, what I showed you when I showed you uh, Adrian's uh, a website is that she can put a logo and she can put a favicon but in order to have a true white label you need to have uh, your own url right and this is this is a tricky thing this is not something that we can easily automate but we do allow people that uh, want to go into selling white label opportunities um, and getting everything so the easy thing i could do i haven't done it but uh, this is what you can do as well is you can see that people in Adrian's niche, in the astrology niche, are very fond of a system like this. And with an easy search on YouTube, with a keyword of astrology, and you look at channels, you can see many, many influ influencers in the astrology niche that would really benefit from a platform like this, right? And you can see this, the URL that I used in order to get those uh, search results. It's very easy, and you can do this on uh, Facebook. You can do this on Instagram. You can do this on YouTube. Find these influencers that uh, would love to to have their hands on Flixsters. If you can just do a very quick and simple demo, right? Uh, it didn't take me more than like what 15 minutes. So you can approach these people easily, right? Um, the most requested feature from people that are using uh, Flixsters now is to have a true white label and use their own URL link. Okay, not only their logo, not only the Fabicon, but also their own URL. So if, for example, my channel should be uh, gregorius.com rather than gregorius.flixsters.com, um, I need to be able, at least our team needs to be able to re- uh, redirect uh, people to that platform without them seeing anything that has to relate to Flixsters, right? That's a true white label. No relation to Flixsters whatsoever, just your own complete platform. Okay. Now, you can do this for influencers and create white label uh, channels for them um, to anyone that is in the music or video industry uh, any YouTube influencer in any niche, right? If you just look at the amount of followers that people have, you can see how much influence they have 
and how much they rely on video, audio, and blogs, right? So there's an opportunity here for you to be able to provide a service to influencers where you manage for them the Flickster's channel, right? A true white label channel. You can have different packages, and this is just an example of what you can do, right? You can uh, offer uh, a one, two, or uh, multiple channels. You can have different types of uh, where I, I showed you the upgrades between Next, Ultimate, uh, and Pay, right? You can have different packages that you can sell. Um, and depending on what is included in your package, you obviously can ask a single price, right? You can ask a monthly price for management if you managed to uh, to put videos uh, on their channel. And again, it can be other people's videos. So it doesn't have to take a lot of your time either, right? And because you uh, can activate comments uh, and activate monetization and activate social media sharing, et cetera, these are all options to your service that you can provide a uh, influencer. And that's the reason why the title of this webinar was how can I earn thousands of dollars uh, leveraging you know, the popularity of influencers here. Okay, I have no doubt that uh, people in Adrian's niche earned quite a bit of money, not only from advertising, but from collaborations, from affiliate management, uh, of affiliate uh, uh, marketing, etc. cetera, okay? So they have a certain income already. These people have an income that, in, that they can spend on, you know, the things that they love, right? So sell the platform access, okay? No more Flixsters logos, no more Flixsters into your URL. Uh, and the only thing that you can uh, uh, rely on, uh, on us on is support. That means if you're managing a new client and you have an issue with their channel, you come back to us and we put a dedicated support group for you. That means a dedicated support group on Skype where we have a dedicated uh, support individual and yourself that can directly uh, get support from that. Because we understand and we know that when you manage clients' accounts, that whenever you need support, you need it to have it as soon as possible, at least as soon as we're awake, right? So that's what, what, uh, what we wanna provide you when when you're interested in providing a white label solution. So uh, what's a true white label? It's your own branding uh, or the branding of your customer with a custom logo, custom colors, um, your own custom domain, your own white label client panel, right? So you can add your, your white label clients, uh, delete clients in case of non-renewal or cancellations. If you know your, your client doesn't wanna uh, continue the service, that's fine. Then, then delete the account and you have the ability to add another account. Uh, you can sell uh, one time if you want or sell on a monthly basis. I suggest you do on a monthly basis because when you provide a service that is provided on you know, every month, then you should be remunerated on a monthly basis. Um, we will do the technical support uh, uh, you know, from our end. Customer support, you obviously have to do yourself because you have the relationship with your customer, right? Um, and there are no hidden charges. Now, for a true white label solution, uh, the usual cost for a SaaS platform like I showed you uh, is somewhere around the 5,000 mark, right? Now, um, if you get all of this next ultimate pay agency and white label, we could easily charge a $2,000 fee just one time, right? You can also ask for a monthly, but you can ask for uh, a one time. The opportunity we want to give you, because you spent uh, the last hour with me on this uh, on this webinar, is that for the next 30 minutes, and the time will run whenever you go, go to the uh, URL, uh, and the URL is presented here, is that for just $497, you can get all of the upgrades that you can see above. What does that mean? It means you have the next version with all the features that I showed you. You have the ultimate upgrade, the pay upgrade, the agency upgrade, where you can resell accounts without the white label for, with 50 accounts, 50 accounts that you can resell, okay? Uh, in addition to that, you can create 10 white label accounts, okay? Now the white label accounts 
will take a little bit more of your time. It's not just a, a, a switch that we have to uh, flip and then it's all done. Uh, we want to work together with you to create those white label accounts and to satisfy your customer in your end so that you can earn a uh, monthly income from managing those accounts. Okay, so when you're interested in that, you can go to, let me just put it in the box for you, in the chat box, uh, to this URL. Okay, just give me a sec. Live.lixters.com slash white label. Okay. When you have any issues with that, just let me know. Okay. Um, now, um, that's not all. Okay. Um, and I don't think you expected that that would be all. Right. But you can go there now. Um, you can go to the URL and um, if after the th 30 minutes, we still have the deal open, but it will jump to 997, okay? It's still a steal of a deal in order for you to get this whole package. And this whole package is, you cannot find it anywhere else just through this webinar. So anyone that didn't get to this webinar, I mean, they are missing out. I'll tell you, they are missing out. Um, then, uh, if you do not want to have the full package, uh, you can go to, if you just want to have the next version, you can go to live.flixters.com slash next. Um, on just another screen, I'm just gonna check if you can actually buy individual packages, okay? If you have to buy the individual packages, it, it will, uh, you know, you can see the cost and it'll, it'll be there. And then let me see if this, so the, the coupon code is not yet active, that will be active on, the launch date which is on monday but let me see if you can check out because if i send you there uh, because you don't want the white label package then you need to be able to click that button right because i think it's it can't be sold yet oh yes i can see it can be sold so lucky you Just uh, double checking things here uh, so that if you check out, you don't experience any issues. Okay. Looking at the back end. I'm not trying to uh, let some bad error here. Uh, edit. Just making sure that you are able to check out. If you want just the that version okay so um that's what you can do and then um i obviously uh would encourage you to take the white label account now why uh, would i encourage you because you will get a couple of additional bonuses um you will get another a couple of additional bonuses that you can get so the first bonus that you can get is flixter's cloud which means uh, apart from all the other, uh, you know, whether it's uh, Google Drive or YouTube or any other hosting uh, element, we have our own hosting platform, which is called Flixus Cloud, and we will allow you to upload unlimited videos uh, to that service. Okay, so you can actually use that, and uh, there are multiple features that you can see on this this screen as well. Uh, unlimited videos that you can put on, uh, on there. You, it's just a one click publish it's a video to, to gif technology when you want to create a thumbnail um, there are uh, animated video play buttons if you want to uh, use that system to you know embed it into your uh, website if you would want if you don't don't want to use flixer for that uh, you can upload mp4 uh, videos in hd etc etc so that's what we will allow you as a first bonus uh, with a commercial license. So you can put videos on there and then sell those videos if you want to. The other bonus uh, and added uh, application that we will give you is Flix emails. Those are videos that you can actually put in your emails. Again, with Flixers, you can build your email uh, list. And now in your emails itself, when you send them out, 
you can already include videos. Now, wouldn't it be great that you can, they can already watch your video on an email, click on it, and then go to your Flixsters channel, right? This is all video. Okay, that's the second bonus that we will give you when you buy into the white label version that we have for you today. The other thing that we will provide you is the bonus number three is to produce banner ads. Okay, banners, thumbnails. Obviously, for every video that you uh, you use and you want to change out the thumbnail, you want to have something animated, which you can uh, can do. Uh, this is what can be created with banner ads, animated designs. As you can see on the left side, it's a uh, it, it shows like a video, but it is not a video. It's a GIF, uh, and and that type of technology we will provide you to create uh, these things for your channel for your ads, right? Because when you get the white label, you get also the monetization uh, feature. And especially when you're talking about putting ads on your channel, you want to have some creatives that uh, people will be able to click on, right? So also for your ads, this is a great uh, platform to use. It has multiple templates. So, um, you can choose any template that you have that you want just uh, change them out and use them for your niche or you can just do that from scratch okay it's called banner ads and then let me see right so that's the third bonus that we're going to give you so what's the full package you get your pro and or in this case your next version you get your ultimate version you get your pay version you get your agency 50 accounts and your white label and accounts, uh, plus Flixters Cloud, Flix emails, and banner ads for just one time payment for $4.97. Okay, just go in here to this URL. Let me see your comments, whether there's any issues. Can I download banner ads to work on other sites? Uh, yes, you can use uh, banner ads for any anything you want. Uh, it doesn't need to be with Flixters, just uh, so Reese, yes, that, that can be done. So uh, the question I got from uh, many people that have bought into Flixsters Pro earlier is, are there any specific discounts uh, other than you know the discount that's presented on the sales page for a Flixsters Pro uh, clients? Well, here's the thing. And you got to understand, and Asha, you, you uh, asked that question, but there are others that have done that as well. Um, we will provide you with the coupon code on the launch day, but you will have to invest in your next version upgrade. Why? Because we've put a lot of effort and energy into building this platform. Uh, and you bought Flixus Pro, which is available to you. You do not have to, you know, you don't have to upgrade to next, but if you want to upgrade to next, you'll have to pay the purchase price. Okay. I can't make it better than that. It's already a steal of a deal, but that's what uh, what's what the current deal is. Okay. You go to live.flixers.com slash next dash webinar, right? Then you click on the payment button. Click on it. And then you see the PayPal option. Okay. So now you should see the PayPal option uh, available for you. There we go. Heike says it's working for me for PayPal. Great. And Dolphin says it worked for me. That's great. Adrian, just uh, see if you can uh, can reload it. Okay, make sure. And and if you if you can't, just do it in incognito. Maybe that that'll that'll help because it may be cookied for some reason. Still not clear on what I have. Um, Samantha, let me see. Still not clear on what I have. Pro Ultimate Pay Agency, but. Want all upgrades, including white label. Do we have to pay the 4.97? Um, yes, Samantha, you will have to pay the 4.97. Uh, just only for the white label. Uh, uh, we have to, you know, you got to understand. There are 10 white label accounts that we're uh, giving you in the white label option. That means that for 10 of your clients, we will uh, produce a white label uh, channel with, you know. You will you will uh, obtain the uh, the logo and the favicon and the URL that uh, they want to host it on, and then our back back uh, office guys 
will actually need to do manual labor in order to get everything set up. This is not a systemized thing. So that's why the price is set, okay? So does it all also upgrade to the next? So whenever you've got an uh, account that is currently pro, um, if you check out with the same email address that you've got on pro, your account will be upgraded, okay? If you use a email address that uh, you did not use with the pro purchase, then it will be a new account. Okay, makes sense. Awesome. So, Adrian, got it. Uh, got it ready. Now, Adrian, I fully expect you're also going to affiliate for us uh, because you've got such a nice setup there. Okay. Um, so, guys, any other questions? Because now I've got my full attention on the questions. Okay. And while you type in your questions, uh, let me do one other thing that I promised you, which is the free coaching session with my wife, Kimberly, and myself. And let me see who is my favorite here. David, I'll get, I'll get to your question in a minute. Let me see. Heike, Heike, you're going to be the beneficiary of one full hour of coaching with myself and Kimberly. Now, that's not support. If I support you with Flixers, that's something else. But I want to support uh, you and Kimberly as well in your business. Okay, so Heike, congratulations with uh, that. Um, for any uh, of the prices and the bonuses that you get with the white label, please send a message to support at dannydevries.com. Okay, uh, this ensures a log, one uh, at your uh, your receipt, but uh, this will ensure that we will be able to follow up with you after your purchase and get you everything that we've promised you on this webinar. Okay, so go to support at dannydevries.com so you can get all your prizes. Um, I obviously got your names for the people that got, uh, got some prizes and for your white label install. Okay. Q and A. Let me see. I was David. David, you had a question. Let me see. What happens in a video that was imported from someone else's channel? And that's that. So, but yeah, that that uh, video is being removed from the account, uh, removed from YouTube or TikTok. Well, uh, David, if you're using someone else's video that he has uh, shown as public, you can use that video. The moment that person um, changes that video from public to private, you can no longer share it because that person actually says, said to you, I do not want to share that with anyone else anymore. And we don't want to run into issues, no legal issues. We don't want it for you. So as long as YouTube and TikTok allow it to embed uh, videos, then you can do that in, in Flixsters. If not, you cannot. Okay, I hope that that is a, a satisfactory answer. Heike, can I completely replace my website with Flixers next? Totally. I mean, I showed you the the, uh, the example of uh, the worker bee, uh, Adrian Obi, where you know she produces so many videos and on so many uh, platforms. But if you have a platform of uh, Flixers where you can pr produce all your content that you have and get people to that single site, which is a blessing, I'll tell you that, because I've seen many, many influencers that are using so many sites and they're going crazy in, okay, I have to upload it here, I have to upload it there in order to only gain some followers. Now, I would, I, I don't say you shouldn't use YouTube. The reason why you wanna use YouTube is uh, to get uh, people to go to YouTube and get onto Flixers, okay? Why do you wanna use Facebook? Uh, to get them from Facebook to Flixers, your own single domain where you control your customer, okay? Because yes, uh, YouTube has 2 billion users. Uh, Facebook has 2 billion users. Um, and it's your job to get as many people onto Flixers where you control them rather than YouTube and Facebook. Okay. So can you replace your website? Your website, certainly. Do you want to uh, not be on social media? You know, that's all, all depends on your niche. Um, if you're, if you want to get your followers on your platform, yeah. 
stay on, on social media and share your uh, your videos there. But get them onto your own domain. Okay, well, uh, the, the link to Flixster's next. Yes, I can share that. Um, let me just copy it. I'm going to put it in the in the chat box. So let me know if you see it in the chat box. Here you go. So it's live.flixsters.com slash next. Okay. And if you want to have the white label offer, which is not offered through the sales pages at all, okay, you can only get it on this webinar. It's uh, slash next dash webinar. Okay. Send it to you in a private message as well. Ed has a question. Uh, just want to be clear the URL and white label are the same, uh, and you are offering it for $4.97, correct? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to rephrase your question, Ed. So if you want to have your own URL, for example, um, if you're in astrology and you want to use astrology.com for your site to show, your Flixster site to show on that domain, um, that URL will then be used together with your logo and your Fabicom. No one will know that your system is run through Flixsters other than you and I. Okay, so it's your platform. It's like your funnel flicks um, that uh, Russell Brunson spent thousands and thousands of dollars on to create. And we are providing that for just 500 bucks, right? 497. That's actually what you're getting. Okay, I want you guys to realize that that's the opportunity that we're trying to provide you. Okay. Awesome. I think uh, I answered most of your questions. If you want to get into contact with me, then um, there are a couple of ways. One, you can reach out to me on Facebook through Facebook Messenger. You can reach out to me on Skype, which I will give you the Skype name. And this is only for this webinar. Okay, other than that, use the uh, support URL. Um, so on Skype, on Messenger, or through, I'll put that email in here, support at Danny de Ries at me.com. Okay. Everything you need is, is there. I'll just uh, keep this open for a couple of minutes um, so that you can just grab those uh, URLs and the messages I, I just sent you, the support uh, the email and my Skype address. Uh, but I want to thank you for uh, spending the time with me today. And uh, I look uh, forward to interacting with you on your Flixsters channels, uh, on your white label channels, on the sales that you do to your customers uh, so that not only you can uh, achieve your objective, that is earning money with Flixsters, but we also uh, you know, get to our objective and that's making you earn money and leaving these awesome testimonials like uh, Adrian has done on Flixsters. I thank you very much for your time and I hope to see you on the next webinar, next launch on anything that we produce. Uh, see you next time.